Okay, hello students. So let's try to look at question number five, talking about using a suitable answer. State the formation of ion, negative and positive and negative ion. Okay, so to answer this question, we must have a concept. So the concept is the first thing I want to say is the example. Maybe you want to use magnesium chloride. Then the second thing you want to say about is the charge. What what is positive? What is negative? So maybe I will say magnesium is positively charged, chlorine is negatively charged. Up to you if you want to say this is positively two, this one is negatively two. So you say that first. Then you say that who donate? So maybe I will say magnesium donate two electron, and then I will say chlorine receive two electron. Then ion is formed because uh, because of yeah okay so you can say that positive ion is formed because it donate the electron negatively ion is formed because it accept the ion so let's try to answer this question using a suitable answer example state the formation of positive and negative atom in their element so let's start first so maybe I say Okay, let's say number one. So I will say that you don't write one, two, three, lah. Huh? I write one, two, three, but in your exam you don't write one, two, three. Okay, you say that example, just tell like a story, lah, like your friend tell you how you want to answer. Okay, so let's say my student asked me or my friend asked me, explain ion. So I would just say example of ion is magnesium chloride for example then I will say then I start with uh, I start with donation first okay so I say that magnesium donate two electron to chlorine number three chlorine atom receive two electron because or since lah since magnesium donate two electron magnesium atom will become magnesium ion okay and then number five you say you say the same thing since chlorine atom receive two electron chlorine will chlorine atom will become magnesium ion a eh, chlorine atom become magnesium ion blood will become chlorine ion okay so it will be something like this okay depending on let's say format so this is a difficult question okay uh, don't, don't think it's too difficult just remember like your friend ask you you need to answer like a story just remember the concept what is the concept of ion Oh, ion is donation, receiving, electron. That's the concept. Then you just talk. If you don't understand the concept, then very difficult to answer this question. That's why I say it's about understanding, not memorize. Uh, if you memorize, then it will be very difficult. Okay. Okay, so we are going to continue on about isotope. What do you mean by isotope? Very good. What is isotope? Is the same number of proton, but different number of neutron up to you okay there are two definitions okay same number of proton different number of neutron or same number of proton different number of nucleon so up to you you can choose either one okay same number of proton different but it's still the same thing okay later we will see the same thing because the formula for nucleon if you still remember nucleon for number is equal to proton number plus neutron number 
So if if you know mathematics, lah, it's still the same. Same number of proton, different number of neutron. Okay, not proton is the same, new neutron is the same. The, uh, so wait, let me undo. Or same number of proton, different number of nucleon. So you still get back the same thing. So what is the example? Means it has the same. Let's means let's say something has. Let's say use carbon. Carbon. If you look at the periodic table, it will be twelve. So let's look at the periodic table. So let's say we use carbon here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, ah, uh, six proton number. But the and the nucleon number is twelve. Six times two, you get twelve. So that's why he say C twelve, referring to the. Um, nuclear number C twelve. Why C twelve? Because six plus electron, you will get six plus six, you will get twelve. Okay, proton. Ah yeah, wait, wait, wait. Let's undo a bit. Proton plus neutron, you get twelve. And then these two will be the isotope. Carbon thirteen, carbon fourteen will be the isotope because it has still the same of proton but different number of nucleon. Where is my pencil? Okay, different number of nucleon. This one, different number, different number, different number of nucleon. So isotopes are usually written by their nucleon number, the number of nucleon number. Okay, so carbon twelve, carbon thirteen, carbon fourteen. Okay, so this one you can try to do. Let's say chlorine thirty five. Let's, uh, thirty five means what? Thirty five means the nucleon number thirty five. So I just write here thirty five. Okay, thirty five is the nuclear number. Uh, neutron is eighteen. So because is uh, if you know the formula, proton plus neutron equals to nucleon. Okay, so this one plus this one equals to this one. So what is the proton number? So let's look at this because the formula is proton plus neutron equals to nucleon. So this is thirty five. Eh, yeah, thirty five. Neutron is eighteen plus x. So what is x? X equal to ten. Seventeen. So I write here seventeen. Okay, but usually chlorine and chlorine is always the same lah. Even though we don't use the formula because it's chlorine anyway, so it's seventeen. But if you don't want, you can minus lah. Seventeen. So what is the answer for neutron? Very good. Thirty seven minus seventeen, you will get twenty. Um, let's do this one. Eleven. Eleven. Then here is twenty three. So twenty three, twenty four, seventy nine. It. I just make it simple, lah. So I just write first. Twenty three, twenty four. So twenty three nuclear number. I just write here twenty three. Ah yeah. Twenty three. Here is twenty four. I write here twenty four. Here is seventy nine. I write here seventy nine. Bromine is eighty one. I write eighty one. So, ah, for sodium, what is the neutron number? Twenty three minus eleven. Twelve. How about the next one? Twenty four minus thirteen. Um. Eleven. Eleven. Seventy nine. Oh no! This two blitz empty. So what I should do? 
What is proton number? How to do this one? 35. 35, very good, because it's bromine 35. So what is the neutron number? Um, 44. 40, 44. 4, 7 minus 3 is 44, yeah. This one? Forty six. Forty six. Yes, very good. So this is how you do. So actually, it's a bonus lah. Huh? If they ask in the exam, this one is a bonus question. The use of isotope. Say why? Um. Okay, we can find this isotope. Um, I don't know how they find it lah. Huh? Maybe I think it's some rock. Okay, you just need to read, dig, dig and dig and dig and dig. And maybe you get some isotope wrong. I will assume that. Okay, then it is just like that. So with the isotope, what we can do because I uh, isotope is that is good and not good because radioisotopes are widely around us. Depend on, uh, if you dig dig dig, you get the rock and you is a radioactive. So radioisotope is not. For example, radioisotope is also isotope is one of the isotope okay but it's more on more radiation so we call it radio isotope because it is unstable emit radioactive radiation so this radio isotope or isotope we know got good and bad the bad thing is if you make a person have cancer we can say exposed to isotope or radiation too much it will cause a person to have cancer but the good thing, let's look at the good thing because it can kill cell. So they know that cobalt sixty can kill human cell. So they use it to do it to kill cancer cell. So of course this person he will go in and then this is like the laser, but you cannot see the laser la. Then it will da 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 da. Then it's like laser hit the 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 human cell so that the cancer cell will die. But eventually, the patient will also die. Lah, huh? That's why usually you know that the person with cancer usually they will die. Especially when you, you need to use this machine, the chances are not good. Lah, huh? Be because when the machine kills the good cell, it also, I should write here, it also will kill good cell. That is the issue. So they will kill together. So your good cell and your bad cell also die together. But the thing is, more bad cell die la because they start to focus on the bad cell but the good cell beside it will also die that's why when they go to the radio isotope is people say it's very painful when you eat the chemotherapy or the this radiation it's very painful because the machine will kill the cancer cell and also your good cell so imagine I take the blade and I cut your hand, cut your hand, cut your hand. Now you go to the machine, that is the feeling. I take the 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 blade, I cut your hand, cut your hand, cut your hand, cut your hand, cut your hand because I want to kill the bad cell. But you won't feel so pain because I will give you drug. Ah, I give you drug so that first, first you don't feel so pain but after that you feel it. After the whole session, you will feel how painful it is. So, so that is... Uh, that's why there is the stage 4 cancer. La. Stage, it is stage 3 or so is very dangerous. So, yeah, so this is cobalt 18. Either you can use this to kill the cancer cell, and uh, the thing is, uh, uh, good cell also will die. Food technology, cobalt 60 to destroy the microorganism and vegetable. And, uh, and agriculture, let's say phosphorus 32, is injected to study the absorption of phosphorus fertilizer um, I don't need to explain this okay because if I explain later I, I scared you guys fall asleep okay uh, but you know that they just put something into the plant the plant will absorb it okay absorb it and go up and the phosphorus 32 and how you want to study because it's phosphorus 32 you can it's an isotope you can scan it you can like de detect it if if you use like normal phosphorus, you cannot detect it. So now you can detect it. You can know where it go. Okay, then you know. Oh, maybe here got more phosphorus. There is a machine, ah, machine to detect the isotope. Um, if normal one, then you cannot detect. 
Uh, you also can put in human, but human is other thing lah. Sometimes they put something ah uh, they inject to human because they want to detect the blockage in the human vessel. You need to use the machine lah. Uh, they didn't show the machine. Um, this one you need to know. This one you can go Google and do lah uh, because I think cannot get the the get the answer from the book but you can go google it's quite famous uh, this one you need to know uh, i think if you buy some revision book if you say let's say for uranium 235 is to um to make electric and also to make weapon but you don't write weapon uh, uh, then you will get wrong the they you know the nuclear weapon the nuclear weapon they are using uranium but but you don't say like that lah. You say like that, then it become wrong. You just say to make electric. Ah, make electric, then people give you correct. Help people. Ah. You don't say to make weapon. Then uh, iodine. Forget already iodine to treat, treat thyroid, if I'm not mistaken. Iodine is to treat thyroid. Carbon-14, you can be used for carbon dating. You can know how old is the chair. Like last time the chair. Uh, last time the skeleton by using carbon 14 you can know and then i think i think cobalt 60 to put in the human lah, to to know the to know the blockage of the blood vessel okay i'm not sure this one I forgot this one you go google lah, huh? i scared exam they ask will the exam ask just know lah, huh? just know okay let's say it's for carbon dating so i just write to know the time of uh of artifact our old thing lah something like that to know the time uh cobalt 60 to kill cancer cell kill cancer cell okay okay so this is to maybe to detect blockage okay to detect uh, blockage you know lah some people if I'm not mistaken, uh, this one you go Google and check uh, uh, to detect the blockage. Uh, some people they have the blockage in their blood vessel. Okay, so we are going to take a short break and I we are going to take a 10 minute break and I see you later. Okay, no, then I see you by 9 10. Okay, bye bye.